Five years ago, Ralph Lauren expanded his brand into the San Marcos area. Over the course of the last few years, the store has seen many changes. From the actual storefront, to the employees, to the managers. We're here today to reflect on our biggest memories, our biggest moments, and to just say goodbye to 217. But first, here's a word from our beloved Andy. All right, well, I'm really gonna miss 217 because of all the great bargains. Uh, and there's actually some really great people here that we're gonna miss that aren't gonna be transferring over to 240. Um, and I'm really gonna miss coming back here and seeing all the boxes stacked to the ceiling, <laughs> said no one ever. Um, it's a great store, served a great purpose, and uh, it's gonna be sad to see it go, but uh, there's plenty of clearance merchandise at 240 for everyone, so. Whoever's watching this, thank you for all your help. Thank you for being part of the 217 legacy and good luck in whatever you do. Over the years, we've seen our bond as coworkers grow, which has since led to some of the most iconic moments you can have between your coworkers. So naturally, we ask everyone what their favorite moment at Polo was. Uh, my, favorite, my favorite memory was probably the day that I found out Zach was going to Target. <laughs> <laughs> but now that like, I've better gotten to know Zach and ultimately that that was replaced with finding out that Zach was staying. Wow, thank you, Chris. You're welcome. Okay, mine is whenever we were all sitting <laughs> around for Black Friday at like five in the morning. I believe that that's Andrew Rocha. Most, my favorite moments or memories have a lot to do with the first time we met Brandon and we all had to scatter away from him. That was hilarious. Uh, Andrea and Christopher, when we first all hated them, that was hilarious. The Black Friday stuff, those are all my favorite moments. That's it. That's when Cairo told Andrea, what are you doing here? <laughs> and that's it. Um, Black Fridays for sure. All of the fun we had and crazy nonsense. All right, favorite memory, probably closing with uh, Andrew, Val, Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> um, all those folks. All right. <laughs> The party. We're all just, you know, we were like a team. It was, it was my favorite part of the job. What I miss the most about 217 is the people that, and the people in the relationships that I cared about. Like honestly, man. Definitely Andrew Rocha. Rocha, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Did this count? Getting off at 9:30 every night. I don't know. Like just the fact that there aren't that many people here, it's pretty easy to make relationships and friendships and stuff like that. And you don't get that at bigger stores. <laughs> It'll be getting paid to sit around and talk with y'all. about the store? Mainly the people. The people were the best part of the job. Yeah. Honestly, I've had about three or four jobs, and I had to say that the Polo Clearance Store is my favorite job. Mainly because of the people. I'll answer number one. What am I going to miss the most? I'm going to miss my friendships. I made a lot of great friends at this workplace, and that's what I'm going to miss the most. What about the store? Probably just not doing any work. So what are you going to miss most about the store? Uh, definitely the people and the discount. Polo Bucks. <laughs> what are you going to miss most about this job? This was the easiest fucking job I ever had in my life. Everyone reminisced on what they missed most about the store as well as their favorite memory. When we got to Andrea, she actually wanted to recant her first memory at the store, which featured an unexpected sales associate. So, my first time at 217... I met Mr. Cordell Finley, and he gave me some of the best customer service I'd received in my whole life. I was looking through these shirts, and he told me that they've got all kinds of sizes in the back, and he would go get them for me, acting smooth like he always does. <laughs> and I think his smoothness works on all of us. This is not just a heterosexual thing. <laughs> and <laughs> anyway, so then I started working here, and, um, I'm pretty sure all of you hated me, with a passion, with a very firm passion. Troyce even admitted to me later that uh, she thought I was a good manager, but she had to stick it to the man so she couldn't act like she liked me <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> so that was my, my experience coming here. I forgot my second part. And now, a look back at some of our favorite memories. Watch. Oh. 
we were supposed to do it at the same time. This was one of our last times together that we went out as co-workers and we all got to reminisce about the fun times that we had at Polo and recap our favorite memories and experiences and the whole gang got to be together one last time. This is the first time that we all got together as co-workers um, and hang out and kind of release some stress from work. Uh, it was a really fun time hanging out together, getting to know one, an one another and just having drinks, um, getting drunk, having fun. Do you guys know how much these scarves that we're wearing are? Just take a guess. Maybe that too. I guarantee none of your broke asses can even afford them. A thousand fucking dollars, bitch. You could never. Like Kool-Aid for the analyst Girl, I can buy a worthy world with my face 